What controls the ticking of a watch? Inside, we find a beautifully poised and balanced mechanism of springs and gears, pinions and bearings. And this entire mechanism must be confined to a very small space. Still, it must run at a constant speed. Never more, never less, with an accuracy that approaches perfection. To understand what goes on inside a watch, let's make a simple device that will keep time. We'll use a garden hose. First, we'll place a little water wheel and dial in the center. When water passes through, it will turn the wheel and make the hand on the dial move. Now we'll attach the hose to a faucet. The faucet is our source of power. The hose conducts the water, our power in this case, past the dial to the nozzle. The nozzle controls the flow of power. By turning the nozzle, we can allow just a little water to flow through the hose, and the hand on the dial will turn slowly. By opening the nozzle wider, we allow a heavy stream of water to flow through the hose, and the hand on the dial turns faster. If our source of power, the water pressure, remained constant, and if we could adjust the nozzle carefully enough, we would have a timepiece that would keep accurate time. Here, in a greatly simplified form, we have the four elements needed in every timepiece. A source of energy or power, a means of transmitting power, a dial to record the flow of power, and a way to control the power.